We're on for our parenting segment on the show today. We will be discussing etiquette lessons parents should teach their kids. And this is, of course, we'll be having this discussion with Damila Laogunremi, an etiquette expert and image consultant. She's also the author of Four Moms, Golden Guidelines for Raising Excellent Kids, a book that offers mothers advice on how to raise well-behaved and emotionally responsible so children. You, you right. are welcome. How are <laughs> you doing you very today? Much. Very well. All right, so let's get right into it. Etiquette lessons. So, um, first off, at what age, before we get, before, before we, you answer that, what are <coughs> etiquettes? Okay. Etiquette, it can be defined as characteristics that evolves appropriate character that you need in all contexts, in all arenas of life. Mm -hmm. When you have them, it beefs up your reputation. Okay. So etiquette is just that, appropriate behaviors. Now let's look at, at what age do you start to um, imbibe these etiquettes in your kids? Okay, as long as a child, can stretch your hand to ask for something. Mommy, I want biscuit. Mommy, water. So you start teaching them etiquette. You start telling them this way, not this way. What is that, guess we rightly said? Behavior, appropriate behavior. Mm. So you start early. Okay, now let's look at some um, appropriate behaviors. I know that you have quite a long list of behaviors, but today we are narrowing down on the negative behaviors that children learn from their parents unconsciously that they need to pay attention to and correct. So um, you want to talk about a few of these behaviors? Okay, some that I've seen is allowing children to see themselves as friends with you, as your peers. Mm. You understand me? That's one. Then allowing children to hit you and just get them, let them get away. Allowing children to talk over you when you are talking. Mm. Allowing children to talk back at you. These are inappropriate behavior that some parents allow their children to get away with. Okay, when you say get away with, um, we're at that point where, I mean, there's been that debate about um, old parenting and new parenting. You know, there's, people say that there's that huge gap between the 21st century um, parenting and the parenting that we are used to. So the parenting that we're used to is, if a child misbehaves, you spank the you, child. Yes. New um, generation. Uh, first century parenting is, oh, you talk to the child, you sit down, you communicate, you talk to the child. But then there's also that gap where even parents don't have enough time to have some of this, you know, lessons with their children. How do we make up for some of those lapses? Mm -hmm. Well, this is what I always say. You said time is a factor here. It's a challenge rather. Mm -hmm. Are you, will you always be busy? No. There are times that you'll be free. You can create time on your calendar to be with your children. I mean, if it's 15 minutes a day that you can sp spend with your children, make sure that you impart some things. I mean, some knowledge, some character, good character to them. Watch them. Because if, it, if, you, don't, if you don't stay with them, how would you even know mm. how they're behaving? Yeah, yeah. How would you know whether they've gotten out of hands or they're staying or they mm. so you should always correct time i mean I, it's not an excuse what are you working for you're working for those children right, right? right so what would be your gain in the end if what you're working for you're not even raising them properly okay so. now um, some of those negative behaviors that you highlighted earlier on as a parent uh you have noticed this in your child maybe it's something that they must have picked up picked up on that you have done how do you correct it? Sometimes it's not even your, it's not your fault. Mm. It's uh, something they pick from outside. They go to school, they play with kids in the neighborhood. Mm. The thing is that you, you, once you notice this behavior, you, you spoke about the uh, Stone Age uh, parenting mm. and the new generation. New parenting. Yes, parenting. One thing is that you don't batter a child all the time. Mm. Because that is not the way you drive the point home. The thing is, is you have a particular behavior you want to correct. Mm -hmm. You say this behavior is wrong. You that you want to correct something. I don't want you behaving in the certain way that you start beating. You don't even have a behavior to replace the negative one. Mm. So you must have 
a behavior, the positive behavior to replace the negative one you are trying to correct. Is that, you, do you want to highlight some of those positive behaviors? Okay, let's say for instance, uh, your, your child usually have disrespect for your feelings. Mm. What do I mean by that? Like when you want to, you're busy, say, oh, I'll talk to you when I'm done, but that child keeps coming back. As in, you keep telling the child, see, sometimes you can't be assertive with children. You need to be logical with children. You need to give them reason. And wait, not just reason, you need to speak in picture. Mm. Okay? Don't disturb me when I'm busy. Hasn't said anything. Hasn't taught any behavior. You get what I'm like saying? I feel like you're talking to me here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you feel like you're yeah, talking to me? Yeah, I feel like you're talking to me so, here. What do I mean by talking in picture? Okay? Don't disturb me when I'm busy. That's just talking. Okay. Children want reason. Okay? When I'm busy, you wait until I'm done. Now you're speaking in picture. You're giving mm. the, ch the child or the children mm. what to do. Mm. When I'm done, when you say that I'm busy, you wait until I'm done before mm. you talk to me. And not, don't talk to me when I'm busy. I've told you I'm busy. Okay. Another so, example that you'd like to raise? Okay. Um, so, that, okay, let me create a scenario for you, <laughs> right? Because this, I mean, this happened recently. Uh, yeah, so um, <coughs> I had a visitor over. And I would always tell the girls that, so when I'm on the phone, do not interrupt mommy. Mm. When I'm with a visitor or when I'm even talking to your dad, do not interrupt me. Like, this is, these are adults having conversations. You shouldn't, you know, interrupt. It is rude to interrupt. And, you know, you know kids, you have to keep, you know, nurturing yes, and correcting nurturing, and telling yes. them. So, but they'll keep doing it. And I have to keep reminding them. And then there are times where, you know, because they keep doing it, you would just snap, mm. you know, at, at them. And they, and they would get it, right? So um, in that kind of scenarios, what would you think is the best way to approach... Okay, now, I spoke about using the word don't. Mm. Don't just use the word don't. When you see uh, I and your dad talking, don't interrupt. You're still not communicating. Put it in picture, like you rightly said. Like, um, when you see myself and your dad talking, you wait. Mm. Wait, tell them what to do. Speak in picture, what you mm. want, put it in picture. It's more like that, being assertive as well. Yes. Mm. When you see me and your dad talking, you wait mm. once we are done. No, don't interrupt. Now, if you speak in this way to children, children need picture. They relate in picture. Give them picture. Put the picture what you want. Okay. Of course. The way you've done that over time, and I'm telling you, you should put this in, in practice. It will work for you. It has worked for me. You get? So if that is not happening now, you put this behavior down. This is a, see, sometimes, I'm sure you have fridge at home, mm. some expected behavior around the house. You can okay, list them. list them. Yes, and then, then the consequences. Ah. In front, you put an iPhone. Okay. Then the consequences. Mm. Oh, <laughs> mommy says that if we don't do this, this is what will happen to us, ah. <laughs> so everybody. And oh. sometimes you follow the consequences or the behavior with a reward. Then when we do this, mm. there is a reward. I'm not saying you should be bribing them all the exactly, time. Exactly, <laughs> I was coming to that. No, not bribing them all the time. But you see, when you reward them, it prompts them to behave, more, I mean, to repeat that positive behavior mm. over and over again. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have learned a lot from this conversation, to be You're honest. Welcome. And I know that we are going to continue um, you know, the conversation. I think the focus is going to be on um, horrible things that we do. We do. Horrible, horrible things, mistakes. Mistakes and horrible things that we say to the children yeah. that we shouldn't say. That we shouldn't then say. we also look at horrible things that children say to us that mm. we shouldn't We'll allow. continue that conversation, of course, next week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for and, having um, me. And I hope you watching at home have learned something from this conversation.